Hello everyone, this is RaySpace. I have some mod development to report in Kerbal Space Program 1.12. In my real rockets pack, I've updated the New Glenn rocket so that its inner stage no longer has collider issues with the second stage. And I've also added RCS ports to that and also fins and what I call wings or they might call strakes. Uh, however, the version in the real rockets pack still has the white livery on the inner stage fins, wings and skirt. Uh, this is, I guess, the more correct version, with, uh, though I think it should be a paler green color now that I see it out here in Kerbal Space Program for the interstage fins, wings, and skirt. Uh, uh, so I might update that. It looked right in Substance Painter and it doesn't look right here, basically. Uh, so I might do some touch-ups there. And yeah, it also has the RCS thrusters, though, uh, in the more correct positions that they seem to have on the interstage. And yeah, uh, this will be actually a standalone version of New Glenn, not part of the Real Rockets pack, and I'll link it in the video description. And the reason I want this as a standalone version is not only because it has the different textures, which I don't think everybody is going to be into. Maybe people will like the plain white version that is in the Real Rockets pack, and so I'm, included, I'm keeping that there. Uh, but also, I'm going to bundle the Launch Complex 36 that you see here with it. Now, this is just a Kerbal Constructs thing, so you're going to have to place it uh, if you really want to use it and then position the Universal Spawn Point. So it comes up as LC36. There we go, LC36 Terrain with LC36 Category. And if you just click that, you get another one of these, see? Uh, so that and you'll have to sort of rotate it and scale it the way it actually is um, I think it just needs to be rotated by 180 degrees here so it's like that and then I think I scaled it by a factor of two but you want to sort of fit the terrain you can sort of see that there's a road here that goes out that way and a road here so if you can match the stuff on the Cape Canaveral HD terrain, that would be good. Uh, that, that's how it's supposed to be. However, there's complications. Uh, first of all, if you're using... Uh, Canaveral HD is fine. It's meant to fit Canaveral HD. That's fine. If you're using Canaveral pads, though, or something else that adds these other pads to Cape Canaveral, then you're going to have to remove the ones that this covers up, uh, namely 36A, 36B, and I think it's launch, launch complex 11 or 12 or both. I think I removed both 11 and 12. Uh, so you'll have to remove those, otherwise they'll clip into this. And otherwise you can just place this wherever the heck you want. And uh, you know, somewhere over here will be clear, uh, close enough. But if you really want to fit it where it actually is, you're gonna need to delete those if you're using Canaveral H, uh, sorry, uh, Cape Canaveral pads. So that is a consideration. And, you know, it doesn't look that great, but it's better than what was there before, I suppose, at least from a distance. <laughs> that, but the ground textures I had for it weren't super, so it is what it is. You know, it's, uh, I guess, more or less the quality of the Cape Canaveral HD itself. So, uh, that is the idea. And so, New Glenn Rocket, the engine's still the same. I touched up some stats on it. Okay, let's see how this goes. Incidentally, the lightning masts and also the water tower are the stock parts that or come with Kerbal Space Program. They are not parts of the terrain. So you'll have to place those separately. The lightning towers. If you don't like the lightning towers, well, fine. Uh, use some other lightning towers or water tower. Those aren't actually part of the thing. Since there were already lightning towers and water towers available in Kerbal Constructs, I didn't bother with that separately. Alright, getting ready for staging here. Okay, alright, staging happened. I just want to see about the RCS on here.
Hmm. We don't. Oh, uh, it's on the inner stage. Control RCS. Okay. Ah, okay. So make sure to enable crossfeed on the inner stage if you want the RCS to do anything. That would be helpful. The wings are fixed. I think they're just strakes. So, well, unfortunately, the upper stage is out of range, but I didn't really have anything to test on it. So I'm not going to go back to it. We are going to instead go to the VAB and verify. This seems to have plenty of authority. The, each individual thruster is two kilonewtons. Um, but yeah, and we're going to go through what exactly we've got here. So there's two mods. There's the Real Rockets pack, which will still have the fully white body version. And then this, which I'll link separately in the video description. So there's going to be two mods in the video description. And this one will come with Launch Complex. If you find that complicated, uh, sorry, but uh, there are other reasons why it's more convenient for me. And I mainly make these things for my purposes. So, uh, unfortunately, if you do have both installed, you'll have duplicates of certain things. And you can just go in and delete one of them <laughs> if you want. They're completely equivalent. The two BE3Us are equivalent. The BE4s are equivalent. And so are the upper stages. Everything else is, uh, well, yeah, everything else is a little bit different. The fairings will be a little bit different, maybe. And... Part of the reason for this is I'm going to update the version that's standalone potentially more than I'm going to update the one that's going to be part of the real rocket spec. So keep that in mind. They might not always be completely equivalent. Uh, so the, you can see two sets of fins, the white fin and the bare metal fin, and then the bare metal inner stage. The original version has the inner stage built into the first stage. It's just one part. So that is that version from the real rocket spec. And this is the stage. And then we have two versions of the strakes or wings. And that's what's involved. So if you just have one or the other, you're not going to have everything, which is probably for the best. Uh, I haven't really touched up the textures on the legs themselves, and I made the legs the way I made them, and I'm not going to change the legs. The reason I'm not going to change the legs is because the animation was a pain in the rear end in the first place. Uh, so all I want to do is actually change the metal texture on it so that's a little bit more evened. Uh, but yeah, I'm keeping the legs. That That's how the legs are going to be. So, yeah. That's the developments on New Glen. I'll see what else I can do for it. But at least now it has the reusability functionality baked into it. It's got the fins and wings and RCS. So hopefully that'll be helpful. So I'll link the mods in the video description, and with that, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.